Okay, this is a review of the steel case leap chair that I'm in right now. This is an ergonomic chair. Um, this is actually a pretty old chair, but I'm doing a review of it now because um, I got it last year and it has been such an amazing chair that I just wanted to uh, share it all with um, everyone here. And if you are considering a chair, um, this is definitely um, a contender for a very good ergonomic chair. Um, I also have reviews of the Ergo Human, the Herman Miller and Body, and the Human Scale Freedom. So be sure to look at this. So uh, a couple things about this chair. It's very ergonomic. There's a lot of very different um, controls that you have, um, very unique features. So this chair here is the Coach Edition, so it has like the nice Coach leather and it feels really, really good. Um, but um, the most amazing part of this chair, I think, are the, um, the armrests. So if you look at the armrests here, you can bring the armrest up and down. You can just uh, press a button here and then bring it up, bring it down. Um, also, these armrests, can swivel left and right, and they can also go in and out. Now, if you go in, if you look here, this is a instruction on where all the adjustments are. So, right here, we have a knob, and this knob here is the back adjustment force. So just how much tension before um, it gives way to let you lean. Uh, now this uh, knob here allows you to set the tilt lock, so you can change the different tilts all the way up to a nice leaning position. I myself like to do two bits in and just type like this and have my back still fully supported. Alright, so seat height here, you can go up or down. Um, currently right now though, I have, you can see here in the back, I have a butt kicker on, installed on it and that is just a, a transducer that uh, provides vibrations to the bass. Good for music players or if you're a gamer or movie watcher, it'll really enhance that uh, multimedia experience. So we go here to the left side. Again, we have um, instructions on the left side. Now what's really cool about this chair also is the seat degree angle. So if you lift here, you can actually control the angle of it going up and down or whatever um, of the lip of the chair, which is really good for the back of your knees because uh, you don't want the, your back of the knees to have a loss of circulation with the seat lift being too high. Um, now uh, the last one here, or the last two here, um, seat depth. So you can move the seat in and out. So let's demonstrate that. So I'm gonna, this is in, I'm gonna move it out. So you can move it in and out, which is really nice. Um, generally what you want is you want at least two fingers distance between the edge of the seat and your knees. So um, it gives you a lot of flexibility for that. And the last is uh, where you position the lumbar. You can just grab and position the lumbar up, down, um, along the body. Anyways, this is um, the review of the um, Steel Case Leap. It's an amazing chair. Um, this is the Coach Edition, and it's like very nice. It's a uh, very good leather. Um, what I like here also is it's like got a nice handle as well. Um, I find leather chairs to be extremely nice for working at home, especially if you're going to be eating at the office um, or um, you know, drinking your coffee or whatever. Um, that's one thing about the Herman Miller body is that the Herman Miller only comes in cloth. So if you do um, drink and eat, you have to be very careful not to spill on it because you could stain it. So, but with this, these nice leather chairs, you don't have that issue. So anyways, uh, highly recommended. Um, I use this just as much as I um, do my Herman Miller. Um, I use this uh, mostly for when I'm eating and drinking in my home office or when I'm doing some gaming and watching movies because I have the butt kicker installed on there. All right, well, thank you for watching.